Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a simple screensaver. So um, open up your Xcode, create a new project, and choose a single view application. Choose next, and for this application, we're going to use a storyboard. I'm going to call this screensaver tutorial. And then I'm going to use iPhone storyboard and reference counting. Just click next, and then create you a project and for a storyboard I'm gonna have um, I'm gonna have two view controller one is for our screen saver and the other one is for um, is gonna be like our main view controller so for our screen saver I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a green background I'm gonna have um, I'll have an, an image view in there that is a picture of that if he had. So let me find the image view. There. Alright. Let me resize it. Alright. That would be my um that image will be the if he had. So let me add add that in from my desktop so right click on your screensaver tutorial add files to your to your um, to your project name whatever name you gave it and then for mine my image is in desktop and mine is called iffy hat dot jpeg and f that's what it looks like and in my storyboard in my image view um, just go to your go to your image and the uh, image you just um, added to your project should be there so just select it okay so that's what my screensaver will look like and now in our view controller I'm gonna I'm not gonna have anything I'm just gonna have a label label and I'm gonna I'm gonna call it um, my view controller. All right, and I'm gonna make this background uh, blue color. All right, so my main uh, view controller is blue, and in this tutorial, if the screen hasn't been um, hasn't been touched or dragged or anything for like five seconds, it's gonna go to this view. So. For that, um, for this, we don't need to make any connections. So in our view controller dot m, I'm gonna create an instance variable ns timer, ns timer. I'm gonna call it timer, and this is our um, timer to be used to count. Um, to count to five seconds and when when timer reaches five seconds go to screensaver so that um, this this instance variable um, this pointer to the timer pointing to an NS timer object will will fire when it reaches five seconds so we have to set that in our view did load so in our view did load I'm gonna say timer equals ns timer schedule schedule timer with time interval five is five seconds Oops, sorry let uh it's a different method name schedule timer with time interval it's the it's the bottom one where you have the other arguments of target selector user info and repeats so here ns timer interval is five target is um Target will be self selector will be the method that will that will get call when the five seconds get reached. So I'm gonna call it at selector. I'm gonna call it go to screen saver and user info will be will be self and repeat will be no. Actually, I think user info should be no. I think that's that.
that's that for the view did load and I'm gonna define my go to screen server method void go to screen saver so this is the method that um, gets called when this condition get is met so actually let me copy this comment uh, cut this comment and paste it here so this one is the timer gets gets scheduled when the five seconds um, reaches so it goes to the screensaver method and from there I'm gonna have a um, need to import in my my screensaver class so here I'm gonna like for our storyboard we need to um, link this to a to a class so do file new file and Coco touch objective C class and subclass of UI view controller I'm gonna call this class um, screensaver view controller and you don't need a uh, zip for this so just say create screensaver view controller which is a subclass of UI view controller click next make sure the target is selected and then click create all right and then your main storyboard go to your um, identity inspector in your class type in the screensaver view controller the class that we've just created and for our storyboard I'm gonna just copy this name and paste it here See if it lets us copy. Uh, doesn't look. Oh, there it is. Copy and paste it into our storyboard ID because I'm going to use that um, in the method later on. So in your storyboard ID, you should have the same name as your class. Now we'll go back to our view controller implementation file and we're going to import our screensaver view controller.h and here in our go to screen saver method we're gonna create we're gonna create an instant a, a variable screen saver view controller i'm gonna call it ssvc equals um, self dot storyboard instantiate view controller with identifier and the identifier is um, this name that we that we gave it this name here that's our identifier so again copy that and paste it into paste it into here for the ns string so I'm gonna do control V to paste it so there's our there's our name oh, we gotta add the at sign and the quotation marks um, It doesn't like something. Self story or instantiate to identifier. Um, let me delete this and do it one more time. I'm not sure what happened. Oh, I know what happened. I forgot the brackets. <laughs> All right. So let's just retype that in. Uh, screen saver view controller ssvc equals self dot storyboard. Instantiate view controller with identifier and paste it again. And again, I forgot to add this. All right. And then so there you've create you've created a, a pointer to a an instance of screensaver view controller. And when when you create this, when this method gets called, we're gonna say self. Um, present view controller SSVC animated yes completion nil all right so it's gonna go to the screen saver when the five second counts gets reached and I'm also gonna have a I'm also gonna have a reset timer method void reset timer this method will get called when um, we want to reset the timer so we say timer invalidate 
This is to invalidate the timer. Reset it um, so it doesn't run. Because here um, we set the repeat to no, so when we invalidate it, the timer just stops. And so when we reset, we invalidate the timer, and we need to, and we need to um, make it make it run again. So timer equals ns timer schedule timer with time interval. It would be the same as this statement here. So five, whoops, five target self selector at selector go to screen saver user nil repeats no. Right, so that's our reset timer method, and we're on. We're gonna do on our touches. Touches begin. So just. Uh, all right, let me show you that. I went kind of faster. So do a uh, minus sign to create your. Um, to try to call up your instance ver instance methods, and then just start saying touch, and then these methods should pop should um auto populate for you go to the touches began method and then from there if the touches began we're just gonna um invalidate our timer so we're just gonna say timer invalidate so we do this because um when when user touches the screen timer timer stops so that it doesn't go into our our um screensaver and do a minus sign again touches touches end it so that means when the user lift the fingers from the screen then we can say um, self reset timer so again it resets the timer to zero and it restarts the count to five when you do um, touches end it and from there um, I'll, I'll add um, one more method, actually two more method. It'll call view will appear. So this is for, um, oops, for when the view comes back, we have to reset the timer. So when view will appear, I'm just gonna say self uh, reset timer. And one more for view will disappear. So when the view goes away, when when this view, the the view controller dot m goes into our screen saver view, then this method gets called. Then I'm gonna um, I'm gonna invalidate the timer when view is not um, being shown. So when it's or you can do this in view will uh, view did disappear. I think it's better. View did disappear there. And then for these, I think we also it's good practice to call super too. So super view will appear animated. Right. And then view will disappear. This call super view did disappear animated and do self not self reset timer just do timer invalidate for this one because we want to stop the clock when the view goes away and then when the view comes back it's just gonna stop the clock and then restart the clock again so and then from there let's run um, we can have an NS log statement too actually uh, it's okay. We'll just run it on our iPhone simulator right now and see if we're missing anything or if it works all right. So I think it should be coming soon. There it is. Alright, so there's my view controller. Right now I'm tapping the, the view controller so nothing happens. The touches began and touches ended gets called. So right now if I stop um, uh, if I stop tapping for like 5 seconds, the screensaver should pop up. So I'm going to stop right now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
two, three, four, five. And there, our screensaver popped up. So when we tap the, oh, I haven't, uh, I haven't sent it back here yet. So um, on our on our screensaver, we should do it where when we tap the screen, it just goes back into the view controller. So in our um, view is not in the window hierarchy. Screensaver view controller is not in the window hierarchy. Okay, I'm gonna ignore that for now, and I'm gonna I'm gonna import uh, view controller dot age, and from there, um, I'm gonna do the touches be touches began again, and when touches began, I'm just gonna pop it back into our view controller. So view controller VC equals um, self dot storyboard. Actually, uh, I'm just gonna say self dismiss dismiss view controller. Animated yes, completion nil. There, so when touches begin, it will dismiss it in our view controller. So that was in our screensaver view controller dot m. Again, I'm gonna run it on my simulator. All right, my view controller. If I don't touch it for five seconds, it will go into here, and when I touch it, it will go back to my view controller. So again, we are touching it, uh, doing some stuff with it, so the timer doesn't reset. Actually, I can hold it for a while, and the timer wouldn't reset. And then, or when I stop, um, when I stop doing this, and five seconds later, it will pop back to our screensaver. So one, two, three, four, five. Well, there's our screensaver, and when we touch it again, it pops back. So that's basically how you do a screensaver for your app. So, oh, all right, there it keeps on popping up. So anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next tutorial. Thanks again. Bye.